Hello, people of tomorrow. My name is Lotte van Wiesemael. I'm a psychologist and a sex therapist. And right now I am at Dreamville for a podcast for Love Tomorrow. I'm going to dive in the world of friendships and relationships established at Tomorrowland or other festivals. I'm going to explore unique stories, challenges and triumphs in love and friendship from the euphoric highs to the intimate moments. And I was walking through Dreamville today and I was looking for some guests and then I stumbled upon these two beautiful women here. Can you introduce yourself, ladies? Yeah, sure. <laughs> of course, my name is Gabriela, but everybody calls me like Gabby. I'm from Mexico City. Okay. Hello, I'm Andreina. I'm from Venezuela and I actually live in Mexico City as well. <laughs> okay, so we have our first connection. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure. Okay. Yeah. Uh, ladies, what did you think when I asked you to come on the podcast? Oh, I think like, yeah, it's part of the experience. I want to do everything and I want to know like all the people that I can. So I, I was excited about it. I just immediately say yes. Okay. And for you? I'm so happy I immediately uh, say no because uh, I'm nervous about my English because my native language is Spanish. But uh, you're right that this is an experience to have new friends and the new opportunity to connect with people and with another language and etc. So it's amazing this opportunity. This is my first time here and okay. it's a uh, It's beautiful, this experience. Okay, so it's your first time at Tomorrowland? Yes. And for you? Yeah, too. Also, first okay. Time. And why did you come to Tomorrowland for the first time? What were your thoughts? Oh, first of all, because it's like, you know, the 20th anniversary. And I felt like this is the moment. Because I wanted to come here since, um, I don't know, maybe 10 years ago. But... I, I thought that it was like some kind of dream. I really don't think that I can make it possible. But my my husband pushed me and now we are here. And I'm so excited about it. Okay. I'm so happy. For the experience. Yeah. Yeah. And for you? Oh my God, this is the kind of place that you dream uh, to be in the world. You know, this is like the top five of best places to to be right now. <laughs> so that was my my first thought. Like, I need to go. This is a great opportunity, and yeah, so happy. Okay, and how would you describe Tomorrowland in terms of vibes and community? Oh, people are always like open. Mm -hmm. They they want to meet you. They want to talk to you. They want to know like where are you from. So I feel like they are so open, mm -hmm. and they are open also to discover new things. And when you are like in stage, like everyone is friend. You know. Yeah. We are all friends. Yeah. Okay. People are so happy. Mm. So. It's amazing because always people is smiling and mm, like uh, friendly with you. Uh, so that's my experience uh, for for this. Yeah. So happiness and meeting new people. Yeah. yeah. That's the vibe. Connection. Yeah. Connection. Okay. And do you guys ever feel lonely at a festival or at Tomorrowland? Do you ever experience the feeling of loneliness? Oh, well, <laughs> a little bit <laughs> and the breakfast, you know, like, I understand, like, everyone is just, like, tired and sleepy and all that, and uh, all we want to do is eat, mm -hmm. eat breakfast, and I have this, I buy these vouchers, so I, I'm alone, my husband is not with me when I have the breakfast because we buy another different ones, mm -hmm. so sometimes I feel a little bit lonely or Not lonely, but I feel a little bit shame to talk to somebody. And <laughs> like everyone is with a group of people or a group of friends. Mm -hmm. But I don't care. I just, if I saw if it's their place, I just come and say like, oh, I can't sit here with you. And they are like, yeah, yeah, sit. And okay. everybody start talking and all that. But okay. uh, you have to, to think out of the box and just go. Everyone shares the same feeling at that moment I think maybe yeah no? maybe yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay yeah, and for sure. you maybe no for me it's different because I'm in a group of 
seven. We are seven friends. So uh, our energy is like uh, you can share time or you can go alone sometimes because uh, you want to explore or something. But the feel is not loneliness. Is maybe by your own soul, you know, okay. it's different. So for me, uh, it's so great. <laughs> Is it some kind of self-exploration? Yeah. When you're going alone on the festival and meeting new people and experience, uh, experiencing a lot of things? Yes. Yes? yes. It's it, like that? It's something like that, yeah. Okay, so... The loneliness feeling is not really here, but sometimes there are people who feel lonely at a festival, I, I guess. Do you think uh, things like this can help them? Yeah, for sure. I feel like I, I, have, I, I have some friends or some people that I know, and they told me things like, I was so depressed before, and here, being here in Tomorrowland helps me a lot. I met a lot of people. I changed my mind, and when I came back to my country, I felt different. I was not depressed anymore. Oh, wow. So wow. I was like, oh, that's magic. <laughs> yeah, so it's kind of therapy, right? Yeah, totally. <laughs> it's totally therapy here. Okay. Yeah. Did you have the same experience or stories that you heard? Yes, because um, I thought in the morning that I just need a job that can pay something like this tomorrowland for example mm -hmm. because uh, it's it's therapy yeah <laughs> and it's a good time and we are here in the world to be happy mm -hmm. and it's possible and sometimes you can feel uh, loneliness for example yeah or uh, a tough moment mm -hmm. but uh, in, in the end there's uh, this opportunity, for example, in Tomorrowland or in different uh, events, um, happiness is present. Mm -hmm. So you ju just need a job that can pay that. <laughs> okay, to come here, you <laughs> to mean? Come, yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> or maybe here. maybe we need Tomorrowland all, all year long. Yeah. Yeah, yeah? for meeting <laughs> new people and feeling better and stuff like that. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Um, you both have a boyfriend or a husband? Yeah, married. Right? Yeah. yeah, and you're with them here? Yeah, yeah. Okay. My, my boyfriend is here. Uh, what kind of experience is Tomorrowland together with your partner? Um, I feel like more secure to be with, with him. Uh, maybe uh, at the first time we talk about that I was going to come here like alone. Mm -hmm. Or maybe with a friend or something and... We, we, we will see what happened here but then I thought like no I, I want to, to live this with you and yeah maybe maybe that makes us more get together and also help me to discover another parts of me that I didn't know okay. or maybe there are some things I need to work you know like the part of sharing like being in the tent like all that makes me like again feel like i need to get out of the box mm -hmm. and, but i feel like yeah this these days are just like therapy because i don't have any any kind of trouble with with my husband like everything is love and everything it's okay and everything is happiness and it's like magic is like a kind of dream you know okay but it helps you grow i hear totally yeah as a couple and as a person yeah yeah more as a person it's like something okay. is is more like personal okay and what did you learn about yourself the past days uh that i should be like more flexible with things okay. i don't i don't have to be like i don't know what, how what is this word in english like the control control and obsessive with some things because are just you just have to live yeah. And you just have to let go of things. Live in the moment. And it is what it is. Yeah. You know? Okay, that's really nice. Yeah. And for you, how is it with your partner here? Yeah, living the moment. <laughs> okay, the that's same? The key. Yeah. <laughs> and my boyfriend is my person every day. And I, I can say that this time for me is about connection with him. And, you know, it's the same music. And we we have we are in a tent, uh, 
together because <laughs> the space is too short. That's yeah. <laughs> so, but the connection and the time is so special. Mm -hmm. Um, every time with him, so he's my person, and and this time is again an opportunity to be together mm -hmm. and to understand that we can be s different, but at the end of the day, we are this kind of partners because uh, we are always sharing our things mm -hmm. so yeah for me it's about connection and that's it <laughs> yeah so not only connection to your partner but also to people outside so I don't know can you maybe ex uh, explain or experience uh, did you already experience a moment that you feel felt connected with someone at the festival yeah maybe when when we started talking about our different experiences okay and we noticed that sometimes there are kind of similar and you start like sharing uh, like different opinions and all that okay so can you give some examples maybe oh uh, I met this girl she's like we are like in a tense together and she started talking to me about how she met her boyfriend and all that and there are some things that were so similar to me and then we start to share about like She's like, oh, I forget all my glitters and all the makeup. And I was like, I bring tones so <laughs> you can have one. And I I, tr I want to help like everyone, like more like girls. Like, oh, I can I can make your hair. I can. I actually make need your... something. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know. But that, that, that makes me feel like I'm being useful and mm -hmm. that makes me feel that I'm making happy another girl and okay. that makes me feel so That's good. really sweet of you. Yeah. yeah, okay. And for you, have you added a story about an experience? Yeah, um, something like that because I met uh, a girl in the first day and she doesn't speak English very well. She's from uh, France and it, she needs uh, s uh, something about their makeup. Mm -hmm. So with her hands and with some words in French and some words in, in English, and it was a real connection about uh, being a girl because uh, you can understand w what uh, she needs but with language barriers. <laughs> yeah. So that was so special. And, and yeah, it's something. Like something feminine special. language. Yeah. Like? like feminine language. Feminine language. Like <laughs> all the girls want to look pretty for these days. Like yeah. all the girls. Yes. Okay. With good intentions. With good you intentions. Know? Yeah, yeah, of course. You can walk and uh, like... Um, uh, how do you say, mirando alrededor? Uh, look around. Uh, yeah, look around. And girls are so beautiful yeah. with good intentions and uh, always saying, oh, you look so good. Hey, uh -huh. you too. <laughs> That's the first uh, natural connection. Yeah, that I, I, I love to see all these girls okay. and all the outfits and all the makeup. And especially the girls from Asia. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah. my god. How? I don't understand how. Okay. But they look amazing. They look beautiful and I just took some pictures with them. Okay. I was like, "Hey, can we take a picture?" And they were like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, it's okay." Okay. <laughs> Do you think it's easier to find that connection to find that community because of all the internationalities? And would it be different if you have a festival in your own country with only like people from your own nationality? Mm, kind of mm. like festivals over there in, in in Mexico City yeah like we are kind of friends like everyone talks to you but it's not like the same thing here okay it's completely different okay and what's so different then yeah that uh, I mean maybe it's about intentions again okay. because uh, when you are here in tomorrow one and maybe someone push you that that's right like the, with no bad intentions mm -hmm. so it's oh it's okay no worries but maybe when 
when we are in our own country, it's like, hey, what happened with you? Okay. So maybe that's the difference, you know? Like uh, your point of view about uh, people, it's just happy. Yeah. yeah. Is it because <laughs> people come here with just one reason and it's to feel yeah, good, to feel the love, to connect with other people with the music and stuff like that? Yes, I I guess. Uh, yes. I guess that's yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because you know what? Like being here, it feels like unreal. Mm -hmm. So you can be yourself. You can be yourself. Yeah. Yeah, and nobody judges you. Yeah. Is it and that? and and in our countries, maybe you are just worry about what people are gonna say about you and all mm -hmm. that. So you can be yourself. Yeah. But here. You don't care. You use yourself and you are making friends. Yeah, so it's not alone about uh, making connections with other people, but also connecting with yourself. Yeah. 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 So for example, about fashion, it's okay whatever you you want to dress. Mm -hmm. It's okay wh uh, whatever you can uh, push in, in your face, you know, about uh, um, makeup. Mm -hmm. So that's it. No one is uh, talking about you in in a bad way, you know. About you as per as a person. Yeah. yeah. So it's a good opportunity just to see people being being happy and looking different than you. Maybe because uh, I saw uh, a girl from Korea, I guess. South Korea and was amazing, to totally different. For me, it was like, oh my God, your dress is so different about my fashion mm -hmm. <laughs> in my country, but you look so great. So yeah, again, it, it's an opportunity to connect and mm -hmm. to understand that people is different, but uh, in the same time, we are here for the same reason. Yeah. Okay, that's I understand that. And if you think about the last couple of days, did you already made some friends maybe? Yeah. Yeah? Well, I, I have a lot of friends that you, we were just talking to the way through the festival. Yeah. And we started talking about things and all that. And we take pictures and they are like, oh, I, I give you my Instagram and you send me the pictures. So I have lots of Instagram of different people right now. New friends. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And do you think you will see them after the festival or have contact with them? Yeah. Maybe next year. Next we'll year. Oh, here, yeah. okay. And for you? I have no friends because, uh, you know, we have these things with the flags. Oh. So you can see people from Venezuela, in my case, like, hey, you're from Venezuela, like me. And we have new friends, mm -hmm. uh, a group uh, of uh, four people, I guess. And yeah, it was like, oh, hey, Venezuela, that was the, the first day. And now we have our numbers and sometimes, hey, what are you? I'm I'm in in this stage or in another stage. So yeah, we have new, new friends <laughs> from Venezuela and from Mexico because I live in Mexico, so okay. it's like, Oh, hey, you're from Mexico. Hi. <laughs> okay. So yeah. I, yeah. Well, we have like these groups of WhatsApp or uh, WhatsApp groups. Okay. I have like 10 groups, like different groups, but they are all people from Mexico. So I have new friends from Mexico. And yeah, we will be in contact. I'm, yeah. I'm pretty sure. But friends from other countries, I also have them. Okay. Here. Here. Yeah. So it, it, it helps making friends. You made them here. Yeah. The friends. Yeah. Okay, and how do you think it's gonna affect your life after Tomorrowland, the, the connections that you made? Yeah, maybe we can stay in touch, you know? Okay. Like, I don't know if it's only Instagram, but we can stay in touch and maybe, like, we don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. Maybe mm -hmm. we can come back just to Europe and I can find these people. Mm -hmm. So I always love to, to make friends from other countries. To meet new people. So, I have this friend that I met him seven years ago. And okay. now that oh. I come here, I was like, hey, I'm here. I'm in Europe. I'm in Brussels. Can we can we meet? And he's like, yeah, totally. He's here as well. Yeah. And oh. it's been seven years ago. So we still have the 
this relation. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna gonna have it. Okay. And I have another example. On the first day we met, my boyfriend and I met uh, a guy that this is maybe the third time that uh, it w it was in in Tomorrowland. Mm -hmm. And my boyfriend right now is moving to Europe from Latin America. Okay. And right now we have uh, her number, his number, sorry. And then like, oh, hey, when you you come to Europe, you can text me and whatever. So we have friends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we are friends right now. So, yeah, we have a new friend and maybe it can change something in the future after Tomorrowland. Okay, so it works. But what is it about Tomorrowland that makes it work? What is so good about it that it's so easy to make connections with people? Yeah, maybe I, I, I think that it's the, the same thing that we said before. Like, you don't feel judged. You don't that feel you judged. You can be you, so... You are you, mm -hmm. and you can talk to everyone, and nobody's gonna judge you. So, like everyone's more open than in normal life, you know. In normal life, you have your work, you go to school, you study, all that. So you are like more in your life and your own things. And here, everything is about Tomorrowland. Yeah, nothing, nothing else matters. Yeah. Now, when Tomorrowland ends, yeah, you will come back to your 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 normal life. But when you're here, you have to explode all that. Mm -hmm. Okay. I guess it's about happiness because when you are happy, you want to be helpful and you want to talk with people. So that's the kind of um, mood here in Tomorrowland. Okay. So maybe that's the key of people, Okay. happiness. <laughs> so uh, you need something. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So, so maybe that. So number one reason is the vibe that's created here, I think. Yeah. Yeah. But I also saw like bumper ball and the yoga and the fitness here. Do you think that helps as well to make community? Well, I, I can't talk about that much because I don't have time to use them. <laughs> I want to. <laughs> okay. You know, when I when I read all the, the schedules and all the things and the activities that they have, I was like, yeah, I want to make the yoga thing. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 I can't. Like in my normal life, uh -huh. I I make yoga always. I'm always at the gym. I'll okay. come. But right here, no, I don't have the the time. But, you know, I feel like people here, they do like what they want. So mm -hmm. if they want to go to the gym, it's okay. And maybe you can meet some friends over there. If you want to go to the yoga because that makes you feel good and happy, mm -hmm. it's okay. Go and make your yoga thing, you want to be on the stages all the time, it's going to be okay because you're going to find people that have the same the same intentions that you have, the same things that you want to do. Yeah. Okay. And did you do the activities maybe? Yeah, this okay. morning. What's the name of this kind of bubble football? A bumper ball, I think. Yeah. Did you do it? Yes. Okay, how was it? Oh, amazing. And it was uh, so, so funny because people uh was so mm, wild maybe mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> in 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 good terms so was amazing because uh this is the the third day of the festival and we are so tired and etc but mm -hmm. uh, we need this time mm -hmm. uh for us for ourselves. Yeah. To yeah. de stress, to, to just have fun, like totally. do if something you, different. If if you have a problem right now and <laughs> and you want to to change your mood, you need to do it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's a very very good intention. Um so we have the vibe that connects people, we have the activities that connect people, but what about the music? I think that the festival is about that. Okay. And some other music. For me, it's a principal thing. Okay. We're here because of the music. Because we love some DJs. Because we feel connect through the music. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. I feel like people that like this kind of music, they just don't like it. They just feel it. It's like a style of life, you know? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, for me, the festival is all about the music. Mm-hmm. 
I hear you say feeling it. Yeah. Feeling the music. Yeah. Okay. Music is always the answer. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, uh, that's the main reason because we are here. And that, again, it's an opportunity to make connections. So, mm -hmm. yeah, music is the reason and it's like a bridge mm -hmm. to have new friends, to to be happy, to to be in a good mood always. So, yeah, music is the answer. Yeah. Maybe if you if you don't to know all the DJs, you can be in a good mood. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I think music is something magical. No. Yeah, totally. And yeah. maybe you can discover another DJs that you don't know. Like yesterday, I was like so tired, and we just stayed in the stage, and I was like, oh, that DJ is, sounds pretty good. Who is it? And then you start uh, discover a new DJs that you like, and then you start like following them and all that. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Music connects like everything and everyone. Yeah. Yeah, like oh that song if from that DJ, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> that you recognize them. Yeah. Yes, of course. <laughs> yeah, and I think what you said, like the music, it also does something with your body. Yeah, totally. Uh, it, it's something very different than speaking with people. It 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 uh how do you say it? It uh gets into your body and to your brains and it does something uh, with yeah, us as absolutely. people. It it changed like the chemistry in your brain because <laughs> I can I can put an example. Yesterday I I was so excited about my favorite DJ. So I was there for maybe a little bit more than half an, an hour before that that he starts playing. And I have like the sound here in my face and all, but I don't care. Mm -hmm. I don't care. And when I was there, like the times go so fast. And he, he played like uh, an hour and 30 minutes. But I was like, I have this rush and I have, I was so excited and all that. And I can take a picture with him. And I was, it was crazy. Oh, wow. And after that, I still have a little bit of that rush and I was so nervous. But then, I get like a little bit down because all of of this energy that yeah, I the that adrenaline I spend, and yeah. I really don't feel it. I really in in that moment I don't feel anything. I just I I was happy and I just want to dance. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a very nice and sweet story. Yeah, yeah okay. I love it. Yeah, of course. I have uh, another question for you, ladies. What advice do you have for people to make the most out of Tomorrowland? To make the most connections? To feel everything? <laughs> Come here with no expectatives of what it is. Just come here and it is what it is and live it. No matter no matter what happens, don't have all these expectations about it because it's it's so different about what you think it's going to be. And when you're here, like it's better and it's different and it's unreal mm -hmm. and it's so magical. So don't have expectations of anything just come here and live it and feel it mm -hmm. okay and for you this is the moment to be yourself that uh, really you you can try whatever you want about your look about your dress about whatever and just uh, close your eyes <coughs> feel the music and be yourself mm -hmm. connect with yourself Connect with yourself. Connect, connect with, with others. Soul. Yeah. Connect with the music. Yeah, totally. Connect with everything. Yeah. With maybe the environment as well. Yeah. The stages and the lights. Yeah, and also you can learn about the nature because, you know, I really don't make uh, camping. <laughs> and yeah. here I have to learn how to share with the nature. Yeah. And it's a little bit back to basics, no? Yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's an experience completely different. Like, yeah, yeah, totally, totally okay. different. I like back to back to basics. Back to basics. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, that's that's the first thing we had, so we have to cherish that, right? Yes. Okay, uh -huh. ladies, I want to thank you for being here, for talking with me, for your openness. I hope to see you maybe at the festival. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, and enjoy it while it lasts, and maybe to next year. Yes. yes, let's hope so. I hope. Okay, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs>